Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for whenever it resonates. Now, keep in mind that uh, not every reading is for you. Two cards fell out, so we're going to go ahead and take them. Not every reading is for you. And uh, so, you know, not every reading is for you. Um, but uh, this may or may not be. Let's see what comes up. First card, egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. You got some temporary problems, okay? You're in a temporary situation. Clouds. Um, clouds clear. You notice the sun in the background. So they're, they're, the sun is going to come up. Things are going to get better. Um, your success is assured. It's assured with good plans and hard work. So right now it's in the egg stage. So... You know, obviously there's going to be a birth of some sort. Sun represents birth and so does an egg, right? Um, so there's some sort of new beginning here. Suns are a new beginning and so isn't the egg. So we do have a new beginning here. Something beautiful, okay? Let's get one of these. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, whatever. Whatever you got. Whatever. Oh, I just looked at the bottom. I... I pay attention to your dreams, Aquarius. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because your dreams are talking to you. Pay attention to the dreams, your daydreams, your night dreams, and your your you know, whatever it is that you dream to have in this lifetime, right? Pay attention to your dreams in every aspect. What do we have for Aquarius? You will be attending a get-together soon. So you are going to be attending a get-together soon. Um, let's get one of these. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. So let's reconnect to the divine, to the divine, reconnect to the energy, to your, your your soul. I was going to say soul source. Um, you know, um, it's reconnecting to, you know, the universe. Reconnect to your intuition. Reconnect to your divine gifts. Reconnect to, you know, the, uh, your, try to reconnect to your, you know, the outer world, okay? Um, I think that we've we become dis disconnected. Obviously, that's what this card is about. We become disconnected because of all the physical uh, things that we acquire and that we acquire to be. Um, it's time to reconnect. Obviously, it's time to reconnect to to source. What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? <sighs> Hierophant. The Hierophant is a direct connection to God. This is a channeler. This is a healer. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this is a uh, your gut. Listen to your gut. Have faith. Believe in yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to your gut. There's divine guidance here. You, ha you have a direct connection to source. You do. 
Um, that is a card of commitment. It is a card of faith. It's believing in yourself. Believe in yourself. Listen to your gut. You have a direct connection. That's a message you need to hear, obviously. Four of Swords reversed. This is, uh, I feel, feel like it's, it's time to reconnect, okay? This is upright. It's taking a break. It's, it's uh, resting, relaxing, meditating. I feel like it's time for you definitely. I mean, I can't make it up. It is time for you're going to be reconnecting. You may be ascending in some way. You know, you may be coming, be becoming more spiritual. You know, you may, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Six of Cups reversed. I also feel like, I don't know if you're dealing with a father figure. The, the hair font can represent a father that is ill. You know, the Four of Swords reversed is ill. It is, it could be ill. And then we have the Six of Cups reversed, which is tears. It is, it is um, clinging to the past. It's letting go of the past, packing up, leaving home, uh, freedom from obligation, uh, memories of the past you know this get together could be at a church just saying we have a get together then we have the hierophant which represents a church it could also be at a building you know government building um could be a marriage it's a it could be a marriage or a funeral okay with the hierophant card you could be attending a marriage or a funeral or a get together um there's obviously a higher power involved because the Hierophant is the highest power. It is. It's the highest authority. It's a direct. It's God. It's God energy. We have somebody here that um, I feel like they. I don't know if they've been ill. They've been sick. But it's time to reconnect in some way. There's a need to. There's going to be a lot of memories that are coming up in the near future. Memories of the past that may make you feel empty or lost inside you may be, be get frustrated everything happens for a reason okay there's temporary problems here we can't forget about that i feel like there's a lot of things that are going to be coming up that you may need to release you may need to uh you may need to deal with the six of wands on the bottom that is victory after sorrow uh, making progress public recognition there's there i feel like you have been in some you've been in some sort of battle but the battle is ending there is a battle that is ending you're going to be recognized for something recognized for your nobility recognized for your hard work your leadership i feel like you maybe you're going to you're you're going to be in a leadership position or you're going to be getting a leadership position or you're going to just get some sort of recog recognition for some sort of job that you did. Six of Cups reversed is nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. Okay, so there's there's a higher power involved here and your life is about to change and that's the way it goes. Page of Cups. I saw this at the very beginning before I before when I was shuffling the round cards. I saw the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is emotional. It is follow your intuition. This is a message that is coming that is going to make you feel emotional. Um, this message may be coming from somebody that is younger than you doesn't have to be this is a welcome message of love that is coming in the future or support you're going to be receiving some sort of support from somebody could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio could be somebody from your past maybe this person wants to reconnect with you you're going to really need to listen to your gut listen have faith in yourself you know, believe what you you have a gift, obviously, of some sort. Your gut, your intuition is um, very high with the Hierophant card. 
And you may have forgotten though because of that stay connected. You may have forgotten because of the physical world. Sometimes we forget our, our innate abilities, you know, because of everything around us. Um, I do believe there is a loss here. And I, I mean, I hate to uh, tell you that. But the Ace of Pentacles reverse is, is a big, huge loss. It's an unplanned loss of something. So, And I don't know if it has to do with uh, well, it's something that is slipping away. What is this loss? Devil reverse right next to the God. Okay, we got good versus evil here here so that's just interesting that's good that's good versus evil um breaking free there's a higher power that is breaking you free from something this is the loss and it's unplaced it's something that you don't want anyway okay you don't need to have this in your life this is something that is uh, not growing, it's not stable, it's not solid, it's toxic to you, it's unhealthy to you. Um, you need this is you need to break free from it. I do believe that there's a higher power that is breaking you free from something that is not healthy. Uh, and I think that you this whatever this is, it's it's really caused you a lot of exhaustion, mental exhaustion. But you've clung to it because there's a lot of memories there. There's a lot of feelings. You know, you have memories with whatever this is, you know. Um, there's something to do with uh, children as well. Or no, I don't know if it's children and a father. Um, or children and a mother. Freedom from obligation. Breaking free breaking you're going to be broken free from something that is toxic this person is or this situation is very unhealthy there's some sort of illness here with the devil reverse right next to the four of swords reverse I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that um Well, there's protection here for you anyway. There is some sort of protection breaking free from a toxic situation where it has caused you a lot of bad memories. You know, I think that you have a lot of bad memories, you know, a bad experience with somebody, but you're going to be broken free. This is like freedom from that, you know which is interesting. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm wondering if there is a, a well, there could be a death here. I mean, I hate to say that. There, there could be a death here. Um, and deaths are endings. I mean, the Four of Swords, to me, in many decks, is, is death, okay? It's the death of a situation or idea. The devil in reverse can be in a, a disaster, you know? It can be. This is toxic. It's unhealthy. It's based on, you know, we have somebody here that is very materialistic, very egotistical, um, has a hard time controlling themselves. This person is... Um, very much driven by their desires. This person is, is materialistic and egotistical and they're driven by lust and greed and materialism and they have a hard time controlling themselves. But I feel like there's a higher power here that is breaking you free from this individual. I think there, there, there's some sadness involved with this freedom. Okay, there is. I do. With the Six of Cups reversed, that is nothing stays the same. But I do believe that you have some support around you. Okay? There is somebody here that that is uh, around you that cares about you that is going to be offering you support through whatever this situ through this cloudy situation, whatever it is. Um, you're going to probably need to go within and, and as you're breaking free, because I feel like there's resistance to this. It's like, it's, it's like, you don't want to break free from it probably because it, I don't know, there's memories there, you know, it's something that you're familiar with, but I feel like you have another opportunity that you have, maybe you've been missing that the Ace of Pentacles reverse is a missed opportunity or you didn't see, you didn't see it. 
Um, you do definitely have another opportunity here with the Page of Cups. You do. There's another opportunity in the future that, that you know, there's somebody around you that really cares about you. This is, I feel like this, I don't know if it's one of your children that, or one of your, uh, it could be one of your children. This may be even about a child. Um, there, I feel like there's some news coming, and I think it is about somebody that is breaking free from a toxic situation. And I think this is definitely, I have the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Ten of Wands in reverse. That is, uh, that is letting go of some baggage, letting go of a burden that's dropping weight. Um, this could be a physical or mental collapse can't do it anymore somebody somebody has been trying to to prove something or trying to hold on to something that is killing them and they can't do it anymore um this is letting go this is letting go of something you're gonna be and i don't, and i think if there's reluctance to let go of it i feel like there's somebody that is around you that is in your energy that uh is not healthy this person is not healthy at all and i feel like they've reached a breaking point of some sort and i feel like it's going to affect your life it's going to affect your life hmm. success assured with good plans and hard work you're going to be receiving an emotional offer some sort of heartfelt gesture somebody's going to be making a, a heartfelt gesture gesture towards you this is somebody that you know Okay, already. Justice reversed. Justice reversed is something not turning out. Not turning out. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. It's not fair. It's it's not. It's not fair. And you may somebody may say those words. It's not fair. There's some sort of lack and lack of integrity here. Uh, dishonesty. Somebody is dishonest. They're lying. They may, they may uh, be dealing with somebody from their past and they're not telling you. I feel like there could be a, like a past lover, okay? With the Six of Cups reversed next to the Page of Cups, there could be a past lover here. Maybe you're in denial. I don't know. Anyhow, the Justice reverse is this is, this is not integrity. This is, the, this is uh, unfair. It's unfair treatment. This is... Uh, lies somebody here is lying they're lying they're lying somebody is lying maybe they're lying about their feelings somebody is lying There is a higher power here that is guiding you out of a dark situation that has left you exhausted and fed up. You, there's been some unfair treatment with somebody, you know, that abandoned you or neglected you or abused you or something like that. But it is coming to an end because we had that Ten of Wands. You're going to be receiving some sort of message. I don't know. It could be an apology, okay, with the Page of Cups. You're going to be receiving a welcome message. Or you're, yeah, you're going to be receiving a message here. Nothing stays the same. Judgment on the bottom. So this is truths being revealed. There could be a reconciliation here. This is forgiveness is needed. This is the end of things. This is an absolution. Okay. So this is uh, making a judgment call. A resurrection. Releasing. Releasing the past. Something to do with the past here. making a major judgment call this is a card of forgiveness this is this is uh, like uh, the birth of a new life as well because judgment day is the end of things where you know you go up there and this is ready to be judged. You, there's somebody here that is, is going to be judged. They're ready to be judged. We have karma here a couple times as well. 
Somebody, some sort of truth is about to be revealed in regards to somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past that hasn't been telling the truth. This person knocking I think I heard like three we're gonna have to back that up you might have heard it too forgiveness somebody may be asking you for forgiveness but judgment is a card of truth it is a card of resolution or uh, resurrection reconciliation forgiveness life-changing decision it is the end of things Something is coming to an end. This is the final. It is the final verdict. If you think about judgment in regards to the court, if you're going to court, this is the final. Something is being made final. This is final. It's the final verdict. It's time. It's time. Judgment is about to be passed. There's some karma here. There could be somebody from your past because this, the justice is right next to the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is the past. Okay, that is not, something is not going in their favor. That is, that is the, the laws of karma. You know, somebody in the past has, is, may have experienced some bad luck or some bad karma for, uh, Abuse, because Six of Cups reverse is abuse. It's emotional abuse. This person has been lying anyway. They have been. They haven't been telling the truth, probably about their feelings. They may come forward and express their feelings. You're going to be attending a get-together soon where you're going to run into this person by the looks of things. Maybe. That's what it looks like. If it's not somebody from the past, it could be a past life because the judgment is a past life card. It is. It's a past life. This is the end of things. Somebody is ready. This is being held accountable. Somebody is going to be held accountable. This is judgment day. Somebody is about to be held accountable for the decisions that they have made. There's a higher power here that is guiding somebody out of a dark situation. They can't take it anymore. This is too much to carry. It's the end of lies. It's the end of some sort of deceptive situation. It is. You're going to be broken free from something that has made you uh, cry. I feel like this has made you cry or it's made you very emotional. It's really affected you. This is like a new life. It's time to live. It's time to live. A new life. You're, it's like a new life is beginning for you. Again, we said it. I said it at the very beginning with the egg and the sun. Okay, this is the beginning of a new life where there's freedom. Okay, where you're more spiritually connected to the divine too, because this is a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Okay, this is an awakening, a major awakening. So you are going through a major awakening. You're going to you're going to be seeing the truth very very clearly about somebody. There's some tr sort of truth that's about to come out as well. Somebody has been lying about their feelings with somebody from their past and you're going to hear all about it. In the very near future uh, and this is this is it this is it this is it judgment judgment is about to be passed karma is about to be served as well consequences we have consequences twice somebody from your past is going to be suffering some consequences as well 
and maybe they already have and that's why you know people learn from sometimes they do from their mistakes but judgment is a card of truth it's an awakening a major awakening it is the end of a trial it's the end of something There, for some of you, there could be a reconciliation with somebody from your childhood. There's been lies, there's been deception, but the deception is going to come out very, very soon. That's what I see. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed, and I feel like this truth breaks you free. Could be in court if this isn't, if it isn't, you know, given to you freely, which it could, the truth could come out in court. If it's not in court, you know, this person could just speak the truth. There's, a, there's some sort of truth that is coming out, definitely. You've been treated unfairly in the past. There is an emotionally fulfilling person that is going to be supporting you or offering you something, a new start in love. Perhaps that's what it looks like to me. Anyhow, that's what I got. Good luck.